Hello guys, so long time no talk on this channel. I haven't made a vlog on this channel in a while. Um, I haven't talked to you guys, just like sit down and talk besides, you know, like filming little vlog clips in like, I feel like months. And I really, really wanted to just sit down today. I'm outside, so you can probably hear cars going by and stuff like that. I wanted to do a super casual video. I probably won't do much editing of this and I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys like I said. So right now I'm actually in San Francisco. Um, you would probably only know that if you were on like my Snapchat yesterday because I didn't really like even tell anyone that I was coming here. Um, but back in like July, I booked an Airbnb here, which I'm at right now. Um, so I'm on the back little patio area. I'll give you guys a little glimpse right now of kind of like my view and stuff because it is so cute but i'm also doing a week in my life this week so you guys will get to see like my adventures and everything while i'm here so don't worry but i've really been liking uh the week in my life format on my main channel but it leaves like um this channel neglected and i'm kind of like oh shit what do i want to do with this channel i have this like thing where i'm like oh i want to move my content like the majority of my content to one channel so i started doing that and putting my vlogs on there but then it's like now that's just like all vlogs basically um so then I'm like, what do I do with this channel? So I don't know, um, but I did want to just like sit down and do a casual video today and just like tell you guys what's going on in my head because I feel like um, it could maybe like help some of you out or we could just like relate on some of this life stuff. Let me explain a little bit. I'm here because I booked this back in the summertime to just like come explore here for two weeks in the beginning of October. Um, so I'm really glad that I'm here. I was thinking, cause Meg and I just got back from our road trip, which I'm uploading the first week in my life. It should already be up actually by the time you see this. So go watch that if you wanna see the first week of the road trip. I'm just, and then I filmed like the whole road trip um, I'm editing those right now. I've been behind on editing and like posting those and stuff and I took an unintentional like break while we were on the road trip. I like didn't do any editing or any working while we were traveling. I'm glad that I'm like getting that stuff up now because it was so awesome and I love sharing all of that with you guys. So make sure you go and check those out if you want to see all of the places that we explored. We went to like nine states on the west coast and we went into vancouver which is in canada so we went a ton of places and that was freaking awesome so we got back from that a week ago and now i'm here i was in la for i guess like six days and then yesterday i drove up by myself i have squirtle he's inside but i drove up to san fran uh for to stay here i think i'm staying here until the 15th that's how long i have this place for so I just love this city and I've never been here for more than I don't think honestly probably two days at a time I don't even think I've been here for like three days so I really wanted to come here and just like explore it's so much colder than I was expecting um, I don't think I packed enough like warm stuff because I really wasn't thinking that it was gonna be so cold but I forget about like the wind and stuff like that my hair is looking kind of crazy um, the pink is almost all faded out of my hair currently so it's like basically back to a blonde but it's like a really faded out blonde it's not styled or anything right now i'm actually going to take a shower after this but anyway none of this is important see this is like when i sit down and i haven't filmed something like this in so long all i want to do is ramble and like catch up with you guys but i kind of think you guys don't mind so this might end up being like a 20 minute long video what i mainly wanted to talk about and i was thinking of actually posting a video on like my main channel about this which maybe i will but i feel like i'll probably just end up talking about everything in this video is being in a funk i don't know why i want to put it in quotes but um i think for the past couple months i've been in a funk <laughs> and um i think i'm just starting to get out of it i kind of had phases where i was like oh i'm out of my funk now like i was in it and now we're on the road trip and i'm out of my funk but then we got back from the road trip I think that was a nice distraction for me. Um, traveling, that really, really helped. 
I guess like not being in the same environment every day and the same kind of routine definitely helped me because we were a new place pretty much every day and going places that I had never been and doing a lot of exploring and all that kind of stuff but I think definitely like once I got back from the road trip I started feeling weird and it was almost that like yeah I guess you know the traveling like I've been gone for a while weirdness but I came home to LA and this actually happened the last time I came home to LA as well from a trip and I just felt like I didn't come home I felt like I came back to the place that yes was my apartment but I felt like I came back to the place where I'm stressed out and that I just am always worried about what I have to do next and the place that I'm just like worried about what's my next thing and uh, comparing myself I've been doing that a lot lately comparing myself and seeing all the amazing things that my friends are doing and that people that I follow and people that I like are doing and starting to compare myself and feeling like I'm doing nothing some days I feel like I don't even want to like wake up and like ha like start my day I just want to like be lazy and lie in my bed and sleep really late I've been doing a lot of sleeping really late which is the thing that I mean I've always kind of done my life in general I don't feel inspired and I don't feel motivated and um, I think I started tying that back to maybe it's being in LA and so recently I've just had these thoughts of like maybe I've been in LA for too long like I started I didn't even realize that it's been over three years since I'm I mean I did realize but I've lived in LA for over three years now and it's kind of like that is that's a long time I mean it's not that long in the grand scheme of your life right like people live places for 20 years people live places for their whole lives but for me that's a long time and I feel like I since I have been so many places and I do love so many cities and I still have so much more of the world that I haven't seen it's kind of like wow that's a long place to that's a long time to be one place so now I'm kind of having these like thoughts and feelings of like hmm maybe I should move in the future or maybe I should move soon or maybe I don't know I don't know exactly where I want to live I absolutely love it here um, I think I could see myself living in the Bay Area but it's like more expensive than living in LA which LA is already very expensive so that's something for me that I'm like mm, I'm not sure if I'm willing to like pay more to live somewhere but we'll see I mean there's all kinds of like neighborhoods and places there's a lot of cities that I like basically I love the Pacific Northwest so who knows maybe this is just like a phase that I'm in now of being like over LA and wanting to expand but um, I don't know if it's even gonna be like the right decision for me if I do decide to leave and go somewhere else um, but I've been having those thoughts lately because I realized well, I'm not going to school in LA anymore I also realized I can do my job from anywhere and that was something that I think before it was like primarily I didn't need to be in LA but it made the most sense to be in LA and especially when I was doing my two years at FIDM um, which if you guys don't know I talked about this in a vlog over the summer, but I'm not currently in classes I definitely might go back to take more classes in the future and get my bachelor's degree But it wasn't something for me that I wanted to spend another two and a half three years of my life at the same school So that's another reason I started thinking. Oh, okay I don't really need to be in LA anymore And I realized the only thing really tying me to LA besides the fact that I love I love the city I really do is my friends there like all pretty much all of my best friends are there I've just been having a lot of of thoughts lately about my location and like maybe switching things up and I maybe that would be like a really good thing because sometimes we don't realize in life that we're settling whether it's in a place you know like our hometown or in a place that we have our job or in a place that we have our family or if we're settling in a career or a job that maybe we're not enjoying that's another thing I've been thinking about, I'll be totally honest with you guys. I realized I've been doing YouTube for six and a half years. And I think I've been in a funk with YouTube for probably the past at least a year. Um, and it's weird because it's not something that I want to stop doing. I don't want to just say, hmm, like, you know, I did this for a really long time and I'm done. I'm going to move on to something else. I don't think I could do that because I don't want to do that. I love sitting here and doing this and talking to you guys and like <sighs> I think I've told you guys this before like the main thing about me and my channels I hope that you guys get from it is a connection to me and hopefully being able to relate to just like me being a normal fucking like 22 year old. I'm 22 now if you guys didn't know holy shit I turned 22 like 
I guess two weeks ago on the road trip. It was a very, very casual birthday. I literally like did nothing. I was just with Megan. It's weird, I don't know. I kind of wanted to stay 21, but it's all right. 22 is not old, so. It's getting darker outside, so the lighting is probably getting shittier, but this camera is pretty good at like picking up on natural lighting and stuff, and I can always fix it in editing, but the city is looking so pretty right now. It's starting to light up. <laughs> I love it here, I really do. But um, what was I saying? I realized, okay, I've been doing, you know, essentially my job, which is YouTube um, and my passion, but like my job for six and a half years now. And that is a really long time. And am I settling? Am I too comfortable in something that I've known for so long and afraid to branch out into something else? And I definitely think I kind of am. I'm afraid to go out and like seek, um, like other work. I, it's, well, it's not really that I'm afraid. I guess it's like right now. Uh, I don't really want that at least I don't want the nine to five kind of life I don't want like to go to a job every day and Have like a routine kind of a job um, So I like being able to be in charge of what I'm doing and be my own boss and that's like the coolest thing about YouTube It's really really cool in that way It's like kind of like it really is like the dream job or for me personally It's kind of like my dream job because I'm in control and I don't have someone telling me what to do And I don't have to report like to a place at the same time every day like some typical jobs um, but back to like settling in life, I think sometimes we don't even realize that we're doing it and that it can be really really detrimental and boring and that that is kind of why we get into like funks and sadness and like not being inspired and not being motivated. Being here, I think I'm really really gonna try for the next two weeks and I already have been trying. Um, to just better myself and work on myself and be alone because I think that's really important too uh, Spending time with yourself and learning and growing and exploring and doing things by yourself So I'm kind of trying to like challenge myself to go out and do things alone while I'm here And I think that'll be really good for me. So and I'm also trying to write a lot more and um, I have been listening to this audiobook. I listen to audiobooks just because I am not the best at like sitting there and physically reading. I don't really do that, but I still like to like get the book and hear the book. I just started this book, so I haven't like gotten too far through it, but so far it is incredible and I feel like I started it at the legitimate perfect time. It's called Adventures for Your Soul by Shannon Kaiser. And um, I will leave like that info in the description box for you guys, but this, book i'm actually about to go listen to it probably while i'm like taking my shower and stuff um it has been really helping me like i said i feel like i found it at a really good time also i listened to this book called you are a badass by jen sinchiro but that was incredible and i'll probably listen to it again and again on an audiobook because it was really really cool it's kind of about realizing like your your inner badass she's kind of more like tough but she's kind of telling you ways like that you're in charge of you know your whole life and everything that happens to you and how you can literally make like everything happen that you want to by just you know like actually going out and saying yes and doing things so i recommend that one as well a lot so if you guys are maybe in a, the shadows are so like bad back here it's definitely getting dark but if you guys are in a funk as well let me know in the comments and let me know things that help you guys like get out of a funk or if you were in one in the past or recently or something um let me know how you got out of that if you did um other things that definitely have helped like i mentioned travel if you can you guys seriously if you have even just like a day or you don't even have to have a day if you have an afternoon or a few hours that you can make to like go out and go on an adventure you don't have to go far you can go into nature somewhere close to where you live and just go like be with yourself and explore and be like in nature and just chillax like don't bring your phone it is just so important to be able to just like get out and be alone and like not maybe not have service for a few hours it's nice to have a break from all of that stuff and it's really nice to see places that you haven't seen before or just like 
be somewhere besides where you are every single day i think that really really helped me like i said like being on the road trip that was incredible and it inspired me to really want to travel a lot more because i realized i've seen a lot of places in this country but i have not seen a lot of places outside of the country other than you know like the few places that i've been to so I have a lot of the world to see and I really really want to like figure out how I can go everywhere. It's getting really dark. I'm gonna finish this up but if you guys live in the San Francisco area, the Bay Area, definitely comment down below and let me know some places that you think I should go and see or explore. I do have Squirtle with me so if there are places that you can bring dogs that would be even better or just like your favorite you know coffee places or food places. I'm staying close to Twin Peaks so if it could kind of be in that general closeness range that would be awesome um but also if you live here hit me with like a tweet or something um send me a, hit me with a tweet send me a tweet and i would love to have like a little casual meetup or even just like meet with you guys and see you guys that live here um while i'm here because i really really like to like talk to my subscribers in different places and I would just love to do that. Thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble. I don't know if you got anything out of this. If anything, you got a life update on my life. <laughs> um, it's not that I've been like in a bad place. Uh, I don't know if it sounded like that, like being in a funk. It's just more that I've been in like a confused place with a lot of areas in my life. It almost feels like a quarter life crisis. I think that's kind of what it is. I think just being like 22 and being like, what am I doing? What am I gonna do with my life? I hate that question. I really do. I hate that question because I want to do so many freaking things with my life, but sometimes I don't know what they are. <laughs> and that's been a thing a lot lately too. I'm like, what am I meant to do? What am I here for? So yeah, a lot of shit like that, but I feel like a lot of you guys can relate to that kind of stuff. So just know that uh, if you're in a funk or you're having a sad day or you're having a tough time that I am giving you a huge hug right now uh, I wish you could feel it but just pretend you can feel this hug and um, <laughs> that it's it's gonna be okay and that like the main thing is that that I always try to get back to is that life is meant to be loved life is meant to be enjoyed we are not here to be like questioning everything and like be like Whoa, life is so hard you know what i mean life is hard sometimes but that is not the reason that we're here we are here to have a great time and to thrive and to do what makes us happy so seriously do the things every day that make you happy at least one thing please i think someone's listening to me film this all right this is the longest video ever i need to go i love you guys